viewers welcome to my channel itj olympiads and ap physics with ambarish so yesterday i had presented uh, a part of the problem harvard problem of the week 7 uh, and uh, today i am going to pre present the b part of the problem and it is a totally independent video so don't worry if you have not watched the yesterday's video so without much ado let me straight away get into the problem statement so let's see so here's the problem okay so what's the problem a mountain climber wishes to climb up a frictionless conical mountain so this is the mountain and mountain climber has to climb on this he wants to do this by throwing a deluxe lasso over top and climbing up along the rope so the word deluxe because in the problem there were two types of lasso so don't worry so we have only one type of lasso here and we'll call it we are calling it as a deluxe lasso okay so how does the lasso look like there's a single piece of rope and there's a light, slight loop at the end and if you pull the rope you can reduce the size of this loop okay by pulling the rope so i hope you understood from the figure what kind of lasso this is okay so he wants to do this by throwing a deluxe lasso over the top and the climbing up the rope assume that the mountain climber is of negligible height so that the rope lies along the mountain as shown so the person you can assume as a kind of point mass so that the rope is lying along the slant height of the mountain okay the lasso is modeled as a single piece of uh, a loop of variable size this kind of single piece of rope size of the loop loop can be varied by pulling the free end of the deluxe lasso as shown in the figure so we can pull this end and we can reduce the size of this loop what can be the possible values of alpha for climbing to be possible so we have to find the possible values of alpha so that the person may climb okay so if you want you can give it a try i'll get into my analysis right away okay let's see okay so uh, for analysis uh, let's cut open the cone along the knot so see uh, somewhere there will be a knot so see here oops uh, somewhere here let's say uh, there is a knot okay here there is a knot and let me cut this cone from uh, this point uh, okay so i am cutting this cone along this slant height and i am cutting it open to make it a planar figure okay so that's what i have done so i have cut it along p and i have made a planar figure so all of you know that when you cut the cone you get a kind of sector kind of uh, Uh, geometry planar sector and uh, let's say this angle is beta okay now one thing is there see how will the rope look like when you open the cone and let's say you open the rope along with the cone let's say wherever the rope is it was pasted kind of on the cone and then when you open the cone the rope also assumes a planar shape so my claim is that it should uh, uh, assume a, a horizontal uh, kind of, i mean it should become a very straight straight line kind of shape it should take why should it take a straight line shape see this is point p on the knot and this is also point p on the knot so obviously p and p are on the same level but in between suppose the rope doesn't assume a straight line shape suppose rope assume this kind of a shape then what happens then obviously the rope is loose uh, because uh, i mean uh, and you can you can uh, either say, think it in terms of uh, either uh, uh, tension uh, argument or you can also think it in terms of energy argument suppose the rope is loose then this man can further lose potential energy by uh, taking the rope further down because it can be tightened by taking it further down right so and you know that the person should assume the pos uh, position of uh, least possible potential energy or otherwise you can directly also see if the rope is not a straight line then it has got some loose length and therefore tension cannot be equal to uh, i mean tension cannot be uh, z uh, tension has to be zero inside right whereas uh, here we see that tension should be mg and the rope should be taut so that's not possible that's why it should assume a straight line shape uh, in the net when you open the cone along with the rope imagine it to be pasted along its uh, initial configuration so then it uh, should assume a straight line uh, like this okay okay so let us cut open the cone along the knot and consider the potential energy of the person the potential energy of the person will reduce as the distance of the person from the apex increases along the slant slant height so we know that uh, the this is the slant height of the cone right and as the person slides down further and further his potential energy will decrease so potential energy is just a function of distance of the this uh, m from the uh, apex okay so more the this 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 distance the smaller is the potential energy right okay so uh, as the distance of the person from the apex increases along the slant slant height the potential energy decreases so we need to maximize what to minimize the potential energy we should maximize this distance that is we should maximize h is equal to x plus y for finding the equilibrium configuration right now also the total length of the rope is constant so what is the total length of the rope see 
this is x so this is x sine of beta by 2 because this angle is beta by 2 and this is also beta by 2 so this is x sine beta by 2 and then this, this is again x sine beta by 2 and then this is y so this is 2x sine beta by 2 plus y that's the total rope of the okay so i can say that 2x sine beta by 2 plus y is l so what i can do i can substitute y from equation 2 into uh, this equation and express h in terms of x only okay so what happens when we do that so x comes as it is here and then y i have written as l minus 2x sine beta by 2 using equation 2 okay and uh, taking x common you get uh, x into 1 minus 2 sine beta by 2 plus l so this is our uh, depth of the person along the slant height from the apex and this we need to maximize right now, uh, this is a very interesting uh, equation and uh, please pay very careful attention something is happening here. See, uh, consider the coefficient of x. If the coefficient of x is positive, then what happens? As x keeps on increasing, h keeps on increasing, right? As x, If this coefficient is positive, then this is just a monotonic function of x, right? So, x will keep on increasing to in, uh, maximize h, okay? So, it is clear that if... 1 minus 2 sine beta by 2 is greater than 0, h monotonically increases with x and therefore equilibrium is not possible, right? Because if x keep, uh, h keeps on increasing, then uh, obviously the person keeps on coming down and down and until the entire loop settles to the bottom of the hill, right? So whole person along with the whole loop will come to the bottom of the hill, right? So equilibrium is not possible, okay? If uh, 1 minus 2 sine beta by 2 is greater than 0, okay? Now, what if it is less than 0? Let us say 1 minus 2 sine beta by 2 is less than 0. Beta is such that 1 minus 2 sine beta by 2 is less than 0. In that case, h monotonically increases as x keeps on decreasing. So, if this term is negative, then as you decrease x, this the value of h keeps on increasing, right? So, what happens then? See, uh, then what happens? Actually, the loop will slide up, but the uh, height of the person will keep on going down because whatever uh, the uh, the length is available made by uh, putting it up, the same length goes into slant height and the, and the person can uh, come down along the slant height because of the extra length that is available by reducing the length along this horizontal length, okay? So that's what will happen if uh, 1 minus 2 sine beta by 2 is less than 0, okay? In that case, h monotonically increases as x keeps decreasing okay so then x will keep on decreasing because decreasing this increases the value of h so so either decreasing this will increase the value of h or increasing this will increase the value of h depending on the value of beta so in that that means what that means equilibrium is just not possible if uh, either this is greater than 0 or this is less than 0 in both cases equilibrium is not possible if 1 minus sine beta by 2 is greater than 0 uh, then it slides all the way to the down, the entire uh, lasso slides all the way to the uh, to the bottom of the hill. And if it is less than zero, then the entire lasso goes up to the, to the top of the hill. And again, the, you know, what happens to the person, he falls down, okay? So both things are not possible. So only possibility for equilibrium is if one minus sine beta by two is therefore zero. What will happen if one minus sine beta by two is zero, then uh, by sliding the lasso up or down, the potential energy of the person will remain constant. And that's why there's no motivation to move up or down. And uh, this is not a very good equilibrium. It will be definitely a neutral equilibrium. Why? Because sliding the loop up or down does not change the potential energy. It's not a potential energy minima or not even a stable equilibrium. So <laughs> for the namesake, it's a deluxe lasso, but it is worse than the cheap lasso that uh, we worked out yesterday. Okay, so, so anyway, let's go further with the solution. So sine beta by 2 then becomes what? If this uh, 1 minus 2 sine beta by 2 is 0, sine beta by 2 is half. So beta becomes pi by 3, right? Because beta by 2 is uh, 30 degree and so beta is 60 degree, that's pi by 3, okay? Now, if beta is pi by 3, we can easily work out the value of uh, alpha just by geometry. So circumference is this. And this circumference, when we take the net of the cone, it becomes, uh, uh, it gets transformed into this and both lengths should be equal, right? So now considering the circumference of the cone based from two figure. So here the circumference is uh, here, this is uh, L. So this horizontal radius becomes L sine beta by two, alpha by two. Okay. And then two pi L sine alpha by two becomes this circumference, right? And here uh, we can say L is equal to R theta. So R r is l and this theta becomes beta so these two are equal and now i can substitute for beta from top beta was pi by 3 
so I put uh, beta equal to pi by 3 here and then I have solved for alpha. So what do I get? Alpha becomes 2 sine inverse of 1 by 6, right? So this is our final answer and now uh, if you want to do some further exploration in this problem, uh, you can have a modification of this. So what we can uh, think of, uh, suppose instead of a single turn, we give it multiple turns. So what you can do instead of uh, just wrapping it once around the hill, you can give it two or three or four turns and uh, then you can have this hanging part of the, uh, of the man and you can do this with both kinds of lasso cheap lasso that i talked about yesterday as well as the deluxe lasso with n number of turns and then uh, try to solve this problem with n number of turns so now uh, since i stated the problem i'll just drop in a hint you can try to prove it so in this case we can try to prove that this uh, problem can be approached by unwrapping the cone n number of times for example if you give two turns to the lasso then uh, you unwrap the cone once and then you unwrap it again and then you form the total net of let's say uh, twice going cone and then you can approach it similarly so you try to prove it why that method works okay so uh, that's it for this video and uh, i hope you enjoyed my analysis and if you enjoyed my analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video and please uh, uh, share this video as much as possible through whatsapp telegram or discord or whatever medium you use for uh, networking with your fellow students and uh, most importantly if you if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to bring out a new video for uh, all of you uh, daily and thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you